Hey guys, welcome to my first DVD update for June. Um, this video will be in two parts as I have a few DVDs on lay-by that I will be paying off next week when I get paid. Um, so, but in, the, but in the meantime I have enough DVDs to warrant the video so now I'm going to get started. First up is Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, limited edition. Um, I have the extended edition um, of The Fellowship of the Ring, and I was just going to get the remaining, remaining two um, um, movies in the trilogy on in the same like style. But I saw this insanity, and like it was discounted from thirty nine ninety nine to fourteen ninety nine, so I decided to just go ahead and get it. But um, my main problem with this DVD is, well, one DVD doesn't have artwork on it, but this is the one that the movie's on, and that is the special features. So, you'd think that they would have put the artwork on the movie one. But, I mean, it's great that the movies are on like one disc as opposed to spread out over two, but yeah, it just this just really bugs me. Uh, I think yeah, I would have rather it the way the other way around, but what can you do? <laughs> um, the next two DVDs I have are a hundred and one Dalmatians and a hundred and two Dalmatians. The live action movies with Glenn Close. I haven't actually seen these movies since I saw them in the cinema, I believe. Um, but yeah, I came across them in like um in Target, and I decided to get them. The annoying thing is, I paid like eighteen ninety nine. Well, I got a bit of a discount off it because I worked there, but this was eighteen ninety nine when I got it. Um, and they only had one copy of each movie. I went back to the store today and found that they had another copy, and it was twelve ninety nine. I paid six dollars more. Oh, I hate it, just hate it when that happens. I mean, I'm glad I put the movie in that, but I would have rather to pay twelve ninety nine as opposed to um, eighteen. So I'm glad I had like do have them there. So. That's 101 Dalmatians and 102 Dalmatians. The next one is Howard the Duck. Um, I've never actually seen this movie, I believe, that which because I think a lot of it sounds like a lot of YouTubers have watched this, and they go in it in their collections. Um, yeah, because I was looking for like DVDs to buy and. I came across this one and decided that it should be something that's in my collection. Um, but yeah, so can't really say much about that. But you know, I believe I've heard that George Lucas doesn't really care for this movie much, but I will. I'll just wait and watch. Like, I'm not expecting it to be the greatest thing ever, but something fun to watch anyway. So that's Howard the Duck. Next is another movie that I haven't seen and that is Zoolander. Um, and again it's something that it seems everyone but me has actually seen. Um, I got this primarily because of the cameo that Natalie Portman does, like does in the movie along with every other celebrity but it's supposed to, like it's supposed to be really funny in that so and I like like those type of comedies so I don't know and I do find Ben still a funny so I'll just have to watch it so that one is Zoolander now next one is another Natalie Portman movie and that is the other Bling Girl. I have been wanting to see this movie for a while now because I'm like into those type of um, stories and like period dramas I believe they're called and I saw that like I haven't hadn't seen it with this case before because it's a case I'm just 
and just to get the, it was the same price as to just get the regular DVD, so I opted to get the um, slipcase one. And yeah, so looking forward to sitting down and watching that. And I don't think it's going to go back in. No, it's not. <laughs> um, then I have Anywhere But Here, which is another Natalie Portman film. Um, again, I haven't seen it. I've seen like maybe like one scene of it, like when I was looking through channels or something. But yeah, it's a Natalie Portman film. So and Susan Sarandon, I think, so you pronounce the name. Like she's a pretty good actress as well. So yeah, that's anywhere but here. And for my last two, I have two Doctor Who, like classic Doctor Who um, serials, episodes. Um, this one is The Time Warrior with John Pertwee as the third Doctor. And this one is Genesis of the Daleks with Tom Baker as the fourth Doctor. Um, I highly recommend both stories. Um, this one is, I mean, I've got both of these because um Sarah Jane Smith like the Sarah Jane Smith stories and she's my second favourite companion next to Donna. And um and I had seen this story before. It's like it was like the first classic who um story that I watched and I really do like John Pertwee as the doctor. Tom Baker's good as well. And in particular, um I do recommend yeah, Genesis of the Daleks is really good. In fact, I believe it's one of the um, st like stories that's rated as being the best. Um, but yeah, because um, well, the because the plot of this one is basically they have to um, like the time lords have seen this um, like in the f like this future time when the Daleks dominate over everything, and obviously they can't have that happening, so they send the Doctor, who is not like his. Well, he's a regenerate or think tank, pronounce the word. Um, they sent him back in time to stop to stop um, the Daleks from being created, in particular, Dav like stop Davros from creating the Daleks. And yeah, it's just basically like follows that, like that story. And um, I have to say, um, yeah, yes, Dav Davros's um, initial creation ideas came back to bite him in the butt big time but <laughs> yeah so that's um the yeah, genesis of the daleks and the time warrior so um i'm going to leave this update here um i should have my next update by by the end of next week and i do want to get around to showing um my movies non T V D V D collection which I said I was going to do a few days ago but didn't. So um yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.